I enjoy going to calls that I have to not be amped up. I guess a little bit more high risk. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a thrill seeker, so I enjoy that type of work. The loser of the search warrant. Police search warrant. Police search warrant. My name is Adam Hansrode. I'm signed to the Selective Enforcement Team, which is what, what we as Durham are, call our SWAT team. Police search warrant. We basically handle all of our high risk stuff. Police search warrant. Um, high risk search warrants, high risk raids for our CID unit, vehicle takedowns. All right, guys, suspect vehicle has arrived. Police come in! I mean, it is high risk, but in these situations, I'm going into these calls with guys that have been on the team and, and I've been working with for over five years. I know that those guys have my back as well as I have theirs. So I'm originally from Swansboro, North Carolina, which is two hours, two and a half hours east of here on the coast. And when I went from there, I went to East Carolina, Greenville, and then worked as a bus boy and a server at the Red Lobster there and decided to put myself through BLET um, at Pitt Community College. I know people always say, oh, I want, I've always wanted to be the police or I've always wanted to do, do this when you ask that question. I don't necessarily think it was that for me, but I think it was more or less the wanting to help people. Um, I always have had the, the, the want to, to, to see somebody do better than they have or, or be in a better position than where they were. And then uh, Pam Shackelford, a retired recruiter, came and did the whole spiel and grew up a huge Duke fan, never been to Durham. I had, I had inklings that, you know, Durham's busy, Durham, you know, Durham's the, if you want to go be the police, like you can, you can go be the police there. And I was like, well, that that's where I want to go, and that's where I put in, applied, been here ever since. So I was probably on normal patrol for about three years. Then I got transferred to, at the time, was our high enforcement abatement team. Um, it's basically, it was basically the street level crimes. So it did a short stint up in our BNU, our vice narcotics um, unit. Slid over to our slide squad. And then from there, I came to set. And that was my main goal, was getting on the set team. And when I did make it, it kind of gave me that, that satisfaction that I you know, made this, 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 this type of team that can make an impact on the city. In the grand scheme of things, there are still people out there that want to help. There are still people out there that care. There are still people out there that, that want to make a difference. I can think back to a story where or not a story, but actual call that I was on where I got to interact with a, I think he was about 13 or 14 years at the time. He had his house broken in, his parents had his house broken into, and they basically stole all of his higher end shoes, like Jordans and stuff like that. Kind of resonated with me because at the time I was, I had, I was a, I was a shoe, shoe guy. Um, so I had a lot of shoes I never worn, like Jordans and stuff like that. So I took the time to go back to my apartment, get, three or four pairs of shoes and just give it to him. I mean, because I didn't need him. I knew that he would appreciate them. That one little inter interaction with that kid probably changed the way he looks at law enforcement. Now his parents, now he, now his grandmother can like kind of see us in a different light. Uh, when I go out, people are always asking me, you know, if I'm working patrol and they they say, you know, thank you for your service. That That's what makes it good for, that, that's what makes it worth it for me. And I know that that, you know, is what a majority of the population sees. For sure, I would definitely promote law enforcement as, as a career, especially in Durham. It's, it's growing, it's changing, it's forever changing, so it gives you the ability to be a part of that change. Um, it gives you the ability to make a difference, help where you live, help where you work, because I've done it for 12 years, I've done it throughout the department for 12 years, and I just enjoy, enjoy being here, being a part of the change.